Hi, this is Chris from noctography.co.uk. Tonight I'm going to be teaching you how to use alloy. Alloy stands for electroluminescent wire. It comes in many colours and many thicknesses. I bought my L wire off eBay. If you just go into Google or eBay, type in L wire, you'll soon find it. I got mine from Hong Kong. It's about two or three pound. It takes about two weeks for delivery. Okay, so the equipment you'll need for your L wire picture is your DSLR, your tripod, and your shutter release. And you've got your flash gun or a torch if you want to do any lighting. Your flash gels if you want to do any coloured lighting. And the main ingredient is your L wire. Like I said earlier, L wire comes in many colours and sizes. Tonight I've got quite a thin wire which is green. Now it goes on three settings. You've got your constant, your pulsing and your strobe. Tonight I'll be using the strobe and I'm going to run around this tree to get a nice base of misty L wire and I'm going to get a star trail at the top. Okay, so how L wire works, it looks like a mist in the picture. Once you've turned it on, basically whip it round on the floor and it creates a lovely mist in the photo in the colour you've chosen. For your camera settings I'm using a 5D Mark II so I'm going to be at about ISO 500 to pick up more stars at aperture f5.6 on bulb and I'm going to stack for two minute shots because there's a lot of street lights around. Right, so you set your camera off on your exposure I'll run over to the tree, turn the L wire on, run around it a good few times, get a nice mist on the floor in the green, and then I'll let the stars burn in, and then we mix it all together in Photoshop. Okay, and that's it, about half an hour's work and a stunning photo. Give it a go yourself. Bye.